TTTS is defined as a syndrome where in a twin pregnancy with a single placenta, there is one fetus that has excessive amniotic fluid volume, the recipient twin, and another fetus that has very little amniotic fluid volume, that will be the donor twin. The fluid in each sac is measured by way of the maximum vertical pocket, so-called MVP. The MVP of the recipient twin should be 8 centimeters or above, regardless of gestational age, and that of the donor should be below 2 centimeters to qualify for the syndrome. TTTS results from an uneven sharing of blood between two or more fetuses through blood vessels in the single placenta. In the case of twins, one baby gives too much blood, the donor twin, and the other fetus receives too much blood, the recipient twin. The blood vessels that allow sharing between the babies are called anastomosis. TTTS is diagnosed with ultrasound by demonstrating discordant amniotic fluid between two or more fetuses that are sharing a single placenta. The cutoff values of amniotic fluid volume discordance have been defined as more than 8 centimeters in the sac of the recipient and less than 2 centimeters in the sac of the donor. The Quintero staging system is a classification of the severity of TTTS. It is based on ultrasound examination of the pregnancy. The more severe the disease, the less likely that the babies can survive with symptomatic treatment. Yes, laser therapy can cure TTTS altogether. Patients with TTTS treated with laser therapy have a relatively similar outcome regardless of stage. Laser therapy is by far the best treatment for TTTS. Laser treatment eliminates the disease altogether. The selective laser technique, originally described by our group, is the best laser technique. It achieves the highest level of success rates and the lowest level of complications. The location of the placenta varies from patient to patient. The placenta can be attached to the uterus, either in the front side, closer to the skin, so-called anterior placenta, or in the back side, when it is called posterior placenta. Although patients with an anterior placenta may be technically more difficult to treat during laser surgery, our data show no difference in outcome relative to the placenta location, whether anterior or posterior. We quote 90% or higher that at least one baby would survive and up to 75% that both fetuses would survive. I always advise my patients to look at a center's individual success rates as they may vary from center to center.